Hey guys, this is Justin with DuraClutch, and today we're going to do the install of our complete kit on a 2020 Polaris 570 Sportsman. The first thing we're going to do uh, to do the clutch kit install is to take all the plastics and the seat off so we can get down to the clutches. The seat's going to be the first thing that comes apart and this just lifts off in the back. Then I've pre-taken um, a lot of the, the push rivets and the bolts out and stuff just to make it um, a little bit quicker for you, but these two come out here and then this piece comes off. The next piece is this cowling here that goes around um, the clutch housing and that just has one push dart in the bottom which I've removed and then this lifts right off. You can do this in a couple different ways. The best way and the, the easiest way is just to remove this footrest completely and that has screws that go in on the back sides here and then there is um, screws that go down. There's four that hold down on the bottom and then there's a couple more darts in the front. So I've removed all of that and then this piece will just lift up and pull off. Okay, so once we've got the footrest off here and we can get to the clutch cover, um, the first thing is that there's two hose clamps holding it on, and I've already taken them off. Um, one hose clamp goes right here, so you can remove that one. And then on the back side under here, there's a second hose clamp that would hold it on. And once those two are removed, that frees up our ducting, so that can be pulled off. And then there's the clutch cover bolts running all the way around it. Um, they're 10 millimeter, and I just have these last couple here to take off. Once those are loose, then the whole cover is going to come off and that'll get us access to the clutches. The first thing that we're going to do is to take off um, the stock primary clutch. And all you're going to do is remove this bolt and then we're going to use the clutch puller to take it off. You're going to reuse this hardware so you can keep all this on including these, there's, a, there's two washers and then there's a spacer, so this is all going to be reused. And this takes Dirt Clutch Part Number Puller 25-126. So we'll take that off. And you're not going to use this belt again, so this belt can go to the side also. And then the last part is taking off that secondary clutch. That slides right off the shaft. So to put the new kit on, the first thing we're going to do is put on this secondary clutch. And that just slides right on the shaft. And then we're gonna reuse this stock secondary bolt the same way it came off. We are gonna put blue Loctite on it. Just like that. The torque spec for this is gonna be 20 foot-pounds. There's not really a good way to hold this clutch, but it's only 20 foot-pounds, so you should be able to hold it by hand and then be able to get to that torque spec. Then we are going to install the new belt that comes with the kit. And I would put it so that the letters, you can read it, and that way when you take it off or put it back on, it always goes on the same way. Then we're gonna take the belt tool that comes with the kit. We're gonna use this just to open up the secondary enough to suck the belt down in. Just like that. And while you're still holding tension on that, You'll be able to slide the primary clutch in and onto the shaft. Just like that. And then this again is going to reuse all that stock hardware, including the spacer. And this one is going to be 47 foot-pounds on the primary. 
Okay, so there's not a good way to hold this primary clutch to run a bar through like a standard primary clutch is. So the best way that i found to do it is the puller that you would use um, to remove your clutch. You can also use um, to kind of put under the fin here and that'll hold it. Again, it's only 47 foot pounds, so it's not a big deal there. Um, if you don't have the stand underneath it to rest this on, um, the best way would be to put a block of wood underneath this so that you can rest it on something. Um, there may be other ways to hold it, or if you have two people, you could obviously have somebody just hold the primary and the other guy can tighten it down. Um, so this is only a method you would have to use if you were doing it by yourself. Okay, so once we have these both torqued down, um, we're going to just turn this, I have it right now in park, so we're going to just turn the secondary so that it pulls the belt up to the top and sets the belt tension. And then we will go ahead um, and we're just going to start the machine to show you how it should look as far as alignment um, if, this, if your machine is aligned properly. So what we did there was to check alignment. Um, there's not, you can use an alignment tool and things like that, but the easiest way uh, to know if we're close enough where things are gonna function properly is to start the machine up, either in, um, in park or in neutral, and see if that secondary clutch spins. Um, we're still in neutral here, but you saw when it was running that the secondary is not spinning and the belt is sitting idle, and that's the way that we want it to be. So we know that alignment looks pretty good, and we're gonna go ahead and put it back together. Okay, so the first step is gonna be to put this clutch cover back on. The ducting needs to go on before it gets tight, but the easiest way is to just put a couple of these cover bolts started um, so that the cover's at least held in place. Then we're gonna put the ducting on, um, which I've slid this over the top now, and then bottoms out on these little tabs here. Then you can tighten this hose clamp back up. Okay, and that's gonna be the same step for the back one here. So then once we got that clutch cover on, all the bolts tight all the way around, we're gonna go ahead and put the footrest in. And this again, just kind of slides into place. Um, the red plastic sit on the inside on both sides. And then there's these screws that are gonna go back in and the screws on the bottom as well. So once those are back on, Then you're on the next step, which is gonna be to put this cowling back around here. Again, that just slides over the top. It clips in on both sides like that. And then there's a push dart that sits in there. And then after that, this would be the next piece that would go back on. Slides into place there. And then it's got the push darts here that would go on. And then after that, the only thing that's left to go on would be the seat. Once you have all the plastics back together and the seat back on, the complete kit is installed. Um, then we would recommend taking it out, give it that five to 10 mile break-in period, uh, make sure everything's good to go. If you have any questions or problems after that, you can go ahead and give us a call or go on our website.